Judge Munga Pondi read out his ruling in the three-hour session and found Chomli guilty of manslaughter. An earlier charge of murder did not hold after the prosecution failed to prove prior intention. The accused is hereby convicted and in the same breath I have a wish to set aside the verdict of the two assessors. And as Kenyans wait for tomorrow's sentencing, what had begun as a murder case has managed to grip the attention of the country in a case that is certain to set a precedent. According to Nairobi-based lawyer Stephen Lugusa, the Chomli case is laden with symbolism. If you did the crime, you'll do the time. And that is important. It is important because, one, it reduces the gap, the, the perceived gap between the haves and the have-nots with regard to the justice system in Kenya. The implication of the reduction of the charge from murder to manslaughter would have Chomley face a sentence of up to life in prison, but not a death sentence. It goes to the nature of the offense in terms of uh, when you're talking about murder, then necessarily what you're looking at is someone who took the life of another person with what in law and indeed under the, the penal code is termed malice aforethought, that there was the intent to take away that life by an unlawful act or omission. The killing, which took place in the expansive Sasambu Ranch in Nakuru three years ago, shocked many, especially after the then Director of Public Prosecution, Philip Murgor, dropped an earlier murder charge against Chomley. Chomley had reportedly shot KWS Ranger Samson Ole Sisina. Chris Wangombe, Citizen News.